popular hobbies besides riyadha and musiqa you may enjoy a number of other types of hobbies do you consider qira'a reading a hiwaya perhaps you are creative and like rasm drawing or fakhar pottery some other popular hobbies include warak al-lab raqs shitranj hiyaka share when you want to discuss hobbies and personal activities use the verb la'aba for example you say la'abtu qurat al-qadam here are some other example sentences that pair activities with the verb la'aba la'abat shatranj la'abna Korat as-salla la'aba warak al-la'ib however there are times when you are going to use the verb fa'ala generally speaking the verb fa'ala is used to discuss activities that are more worker related than hobbies for instance you say fa'altu al-wajib I did the homework. As a rule, use the verb la'aba when you are discussing hobbies such as sport and playing musical instruments. Sporting and athletic side. I don't know about you, but I love playing riyadha. Whether it's an individual sport such as al golf or a team sport like Korat Al-Qadam Korat Al-Qadam is one of the most popular sports among Arabic speaking people in the Middle East it comes as close as any sport to be the national sport in a typical Mubara one Fariq with 11 players plays another fariq in a malab fans follow the natija closely hoping that their fariq manages a fouz not surprisingly excited fans react to every khata often disagreeing with the hakam if you find yourself enjoying court al qadam or a number of other team sports with a friend who speaks Arabic the following terms may come in handy Malabis Riyadhiya Khasar Kora Laib Laiba Korat Al Qadam is only one of the many sports popular with Arabic speakers and peoples of the Middle East. Here are some other favorite sports Sibaha, Furusiya, Korat at Taira, Korat Asella, Korat Al Midrab, Darraja, Tezeluj, Jombaz. One of the most common verbs used with sports and another recreational activities is la'aba because the verb la'aba is commonly used and important much like the verb fa'ala knowing how to conjugate it in both the Madi and the Mudara is a good idea. Here is the verb Laba in the Madi form. Ana Laibtu Anta Laibta Anti Laibti Hua Laiba Hia Laibet Nahnu Laibna 
أنتم لعبتم أنتن لعبتن هم لعبوا هن لعبنا أنتما لعبتما هما لعبا هما لعبتا The form يلعب in the مضارع is أنا ألعب أنت تلعب أنت تلعبين هو يلعب هي تلعب نحن نلعب أنتم تلعبون أنتن تلعبنا هم يلعبون هن يلعبنا أنتما تلعبان هما يلعبان هما تلعبان The sentence structure for creating verbs in such that you use the verb لعبا or يلعب followed by the sport or activity you are playing For example, you may say أنا ألعب كرة السلة or هي لعبة كرة المضرب As you can see from these examples all you do is start with the personal pronoun and verb conjugation attach the sport you are referring to Another important phrase commonly used relating to sports and other fun activities is Hayya Bina Let's go You will often hear friends telling each other Hayya Bina followed by the activity or location of the activity such as Hayya Bina ila malab kwarat al qadam